following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the edge of reality, weighing in at 220 pounds, Dylan the Psycho Mason. Guys, we have plenty of drama heading into the six-man tag team matchup. That's right, Michael. Anytime you put six superstars in the ring at the same time, there's no telling what will happen. It doesn't get much better than this guy. Six-man tag team action coming up next. Actually, Cole, it can get better than this. Let me just find where they plugged in Saxon's mic. Give me a minute. I'll take care of it. Exciting six-man tag Weighing team match coming up here, gentlemen. Michael, ever since this match pounds, was announced, I've gone back diamond. and forth as to which team I think will walk away victorious. At this point, I'd say it's just too close to call. Now time for a huge six-man tag team match. And I can't think of any competitors I'd rather see go at it right now than these six superstars. This one's going to be great.
Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. From Kona, Hawaii, weighing in at 204 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Champion, the Eagle, Adrian Peck. Remember, the title's not on the line here, but I'd be shocked if that changes the champ's outlook on this match. I would too, Cole. The champ is a professional, and a true pro goes out there and gives 100% every single time, regardless of the situation. Plenty on the line here in this huge three-on-three -three matchup. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive... He might have it. Is he done? Corey, earlier you talked about, whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Oh, nasty impact. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure and what was a six-man tag match breaks down into a pier six brawl. And if you don't keep an eye on the... This could be all she wrote. 
one's over. Wow, the crowd's on the edge of their seats. He's got him covered. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. He's calling for it. What a stomp! Good grief! Getting closer now. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Effectively using the knee. Oh, perfect kick. He's starting to stagger a bit. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. And he's been gambling quite a bit here tonight. There's plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been. But there's a ton of potential risk. Backbreaker flawlessly executed. technique near a count out here Corey it would be a shame if this ends in a count out Cole look at this I'll well, break you in half Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Big move coming. Watch out here. He has something big planned. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Gotta find a way to get out of this, Michael. Oh, right in the face. Destroyed. Looks like he's starting to falter. Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. Consider oh, me wildly unimpressed with his performance here tonight. I mean, he's just getting destroyed in this. Nobody controls the pace of a match Ooh. quite like this guy. Back in the ring now. Oh, nasty impact. Ah, stop in the leg. Just nasty. technique. The end may be near, folks. You can't help but wonder how much more of this he can take. Shoulder tackle. Almost just a... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Close line! He's getting roughed up pretty bad here. You have to wonder how much longer he can go on like this. But there it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. We've seen this before. Oh, a slam that hurt. Oh, oh, it's over. That'll knock you silly, that's for sure. He's looking at it. Cutter. Can he finish the job? Fight left. Uh-uh. 
Oh boy, he is rolling. Got the reversal. Looking at it here. Oh man, what a light drop. Can he end it here? Going for it all here. Boom. Nobody does it quite like him. And the rope forces the break. You know, I really thought he was smarter than to apply a submission so close to the ropes. But I guess not. He's got the shoulders down. Digging deep for a kick out. Wow. Not the oh, oh my goodness, crushing it. He's taking some offense. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. The stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars have aligned because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the members of that team must be on the same page. Oftentimes, the teams who have the best continuity are the most successful. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Devastating elbow. He's making a statement here with this attack. Look out, look out. This could be it. This might be it, guys. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. He's got him covered. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. going to take more than that. Ooh, that hurt. A sharp one right to the cheekbone. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. And if he hits this, this one's over. Oh, continuing to punish them. I'm not sure how much he has left. And you thought the first one was brutal. And off the tag. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about fact. Here he goes. Oh, right to the back. But he's got to capitalize now. Here we go. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. The cover. One. And he breaks up the pinfall. Pop. Cut Buster. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Top of the elbow! Right on the jaw. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. 
I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Harsh impact. He's looking a little weary here. He's got to remember he has two partners ready to enter the fray here. He's too quick for him there. Irish whip. Wicked clothesline. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. This could be it. Death Valley bomb. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Back in from the apron. Oh, he turns it around. When this guy's on, look out. Here we go a second time. Big time slam. Vicious. That's what he was looking for the exclamation point. Is he done? Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Call me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. I don't know how much more damage one person can take. I don't care how tough you are. What are we going to see here? Stop. Buckle bomb! What impact! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have Kenny do it here? And it's reversed. Oh, here we go. What's he gonna do with it? Here we go. Now with complete control. In off the tag. I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to get here soon. He looks absolutely exhausted. He may very well have reached the point of no return here in this six-man tag team match. Well, on the plus side, he's not the only one in that ring struggling for air right now. Oh, my. I don't know if we'll ever see these same six superstars in the ring together again, but boy, I sure hope so. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Boy, he is rolling. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. He looks for it once again. you got to believe this one's over. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Not so fast. I think we're going to get the tag. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has suddenly shifted here, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Thunderous slam. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. He might have it. 110th Street Slam. 
Here's his moment, Michael. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. Oh, damage to the body. Oh, my goodness, this hurts. Oh! No, he reverses it. Vicious attack. Oh, going to the top. High risk. Here he goes. Damn it. That might have done it, Cole. And will this be it? Yes. Look it up. And the match continues. Irish whip. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Showing off some of his speed there. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Three. Guys, it's got to be instinct that keeping these six competitors going at this point. There's just no other explanation. Six. Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. Six. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. Let's he should go with him, Byron. No surprise at how exciting this match has been. This is the kind of action you expect when you see these six superstars in the ring. What an amazing six-man tag match. That match deserves another look. Here we go. Yeah, he's putting in the work. He ain't playing here. This was another great moment. And last but not least... Here are your winners, Dylan the Psycho, Mason the Superstar, and the Diamond. And the official decision is a countout. You can bet there's going to be a celebration tonight. Social media has been buzzing over this Raw match ever since it began, and now that it's over, I actually anticipated intensifying.